Hey, everybody, I'm Sarah with the A Thrifty Mom. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the La Volume Petite. Right now it looks the exact same size as the one we're used to, which is the normal La Volume. However, that's because the new one comes with an awesome upgraded cover. And so it's like a protection shield. Anyway, if you're going to be storing this in a drawer or traveling with it, it just slides on and off and it protects the bristles, which is really nice. But now you can see the difference between the two. This is a 60 millimeter or six... And this one's 70 plus. I, don't, I can't remember the exact millimeters. I really need to learn that. But they're brand new. It's only a week old, okay? <laughs> I wasn't ready for the test yet. All right, if we can get 200 live shares, uh, 200 live shares, we're actually going to give one lucky winner one of these away. But we do ask that you only share 10 per person. So if you share more than 10 per person, you're not qualified. Um, why is that? Because otherwise at the end of the video, that one person deletes all their shares and it kind of defeats the purpose of shares. Okay, so... The La Volume Petite, I do need to tell you, this is brand new. It just came out this week. It is on back order currently, but that's okay because you're going to order it and then it will tell you the ship date on there. So go ahead and look at the ship date and then um, you're going to be in line to get these. Because these are the hottest item right now, it's probably going to be that way for a little bit. Like they get more every few days. And so go ahead and get in line and get uh, ready to get yours. Okay, so if you don't know what this is, this is a round brush blow dryer combo unit. Okay. So it takes your traditional round brush and blow dryer, put it into one awesome tool and it works amazing. This is titanium. And so it conducts heat really well, as well as it blows heat. You can use it on high, low, or cool. It has boar hair bristles, bristles, Brussels sprouts, boar hair bristles, and nylon bristles. <clears throat> one thing I want to point out is when you get these, the bristles are going to be nice and compact and really tight. Okay. As you use it more, you'll see that the bristles kind of start to spread. That is ideal because what happens when you use the brush like this, it can't really grab your hair very well, but as those spread like this, all of a sudden it really grips your hair really well and it actually works more efficiently. So as those uh, boar hair bristles start to spread out a little bit, it works great. And so don't worry about that. Okay. I got the one uh, I've been wanting. So this one is ideal for shorter hair. Okay. I still feel that if you have long hair, the normal one, the big one, is going to be the best for you. However, if you have shorter hair, this one is going to be ideal for you. Speaking of ideal, if you use code IDEAL, I-D-E-A-L, IDEAL, you're going to get $10 off plus free shipping. If you want to get two of these or this and another tool, you can use code GIFTBOGO, GIFTBOGO, and it will give you one at regular price, the other one half off. Hi, Hillary. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Dana. Okay, so I'm going to, because I have very fine, thin hair, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of Root Boost. I kind of put this at my roots, and then I'm just going to rub that in. Also get the crown of my head a little bit. I also use um, the Salt and Sea Spray, and yes, this is the travel size. I loaned my full-size one out to a friend. I haven't got it back yet. So, uh, Salt and Sea Spray. And then um, I also use a little bit of heat shield, which I'm realizing I just gave my heat shield to someone yesterday. Oh, dear. Okay, so instead we're going to use thermal magic, which is fantastic as well. Okay, so thermal magic is also a heat shield. So I'm going to spray that on. I forgot how good this one smells. Okay, so that is what I'm going to put on my hair. Now I have fine thin hair, so that is um, carrying bags last night. So cute. Um, Dana, once again, I don't know what you're talking about, but you seem to know more than I do. So this is fantastic. I'll have to look them up and see what you're talking about. That's very exciting. Um, and I always appreciate you letting me know about the fun new things. Okay, so if you by chance have thick coarse hair, you're going to want to use the sorbet um, and satin nectar um, and then a thermal heat shield of some kind as well um, and glass or glass hair. Glass hair is amazing um, with this tool. Um, in fact, my niece who has really curly, naturally curly hair, she uses this as a thermal blowout primer and she uses it with this and she hardly has to touch it up at all with a flat iron. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and section my hair off. Now, I told you... I have really fine, thin hair, and I am wanting to create more volume with this. So since I'm creating more volume, 
I want to go up and like this. However, you have really thick hair that tends to get more fluffy. You want to do it from the top. Okay. So one's going to create more volume than the other. I'm going to go ahead and start out on high. And when I start out on high, I then a lot of times switch between high and cool. Um, remember that your hair closest to your head is your newest hair and it holds moisture a lot better than the hair that's at the end that's older and drier. So I kind of focus on this new hair that needs it's going to hold the uh, moisture a little bit better. And then I'm going to work my way up. Now, if I wanted to get more of a round curl, I could sit here and really round brush it like this. However, I'm not looking for the bob so much. So I'm just using it kind of almost like you'd use a flat iron. Okay. Easy as that. That section's done. I'm now going to go to this section. Once again, I'm going up to try to give my roots volume. Yes, this is the new small one. This is the Le Petit, or like the little sister. The little sister came with some awesome upgrades. It comes with a cover, and it also comes with a cleaning brush, which is pretty cool. I believe they are working on getting um, a cover for the original one as well, so it's not out yet. All right, we are going to be giving one of these away. If we can get 200 shares live, However, we do ask that you only share 10 times per person. And it doesn't take me long to do this, so this live won't last very long. Okay, so you can kind of feel and just grab those sections that still have a little bit of moisture left in them. And easy as that, the bottom layer is done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next layer. Um, you can just brush through it, yes, you can. Um, However, I feel like I get a lot better in product if I section it off like this. So that's why I do it that way. And once again, I'm looking for added volume. So I'm going up and out like this. If you wanted to try to reduce your volume, you would go on the top like this. But I want more volume, so I'm going underneath. We're using it on high, or uh, is it hot or high? High is ideal for people with thick, coarser hair. Using it on cool, or low actually, is better for people with fine, thin hair. Does your hair go through smoothly? Yes, very smooth. In fact, I was worried about that. And it's the unique combination between the boar hair bristles and the nylon bristles. Now, I do have to say that it does a really good job of, like, hanging on to your hair. So, it holds the hair really well, but it also doesn't get stuck, if that makes sense. It's a, it's, and I do find actually, as those bristles spread out a little bit, it works more efficiently. Um, when you first use it, I feel like it tugs a little bit more, and as you use it like your third or fourth time, I feel like it's perfectly primed at that time, and you'll notice that that's when it works the most ideal. Uh, do you like this better for your hair length? I actually prefer the bigger one for my hair length because my hair is longer, not long, long, but longer, and the bigger one just covers more surface area. So it's kind of like the difference between the La Rev and the La Gloss. If you have shorter hair, the La Rev is going to be your better tool. If you have uh, long hair, the La Gloss is going to be a better tool. Or the exact same tool one just covers more surface area than the other so for example this one just covers more surface area quickly and so i just prefer this one because it's gonna do my hair maybe a minute or two quicker i just started to blow dry my hair as it gives me volume okay so one thing i will say too do you uh consider what do you consider long hair um I would say anybody that has like hair collarbone right here or down, probably you would want the bigger one. Anybody that has collarbone or up, this one is probably going to be ideal for you. Either one works just fine, especially if you have like chin or up, you definitely need this one for sure. So, um, okay. So yeah, 
these products are going to be harder and harder to find um, closer to Christmas. As we all know, 2020 has been a crazy year. Production, mail, um, natural disasters, you name it. Like, everything seems to cause everything to be slightly delayed. So, these are right now on back order. So, it will tell you the ship date. Um, so, it's going to be a little bit longer than the normal 10-day shipping period. However, you're at least on the list and you're guaranteed to get one. What did you spray on first? I sprayed on Root Boost, Salt and Sea Spray, and Thermal Magic. That's because I've had very fine, thin hair, and those products are helping me create texture. Um, if you have coarse hair or frizzy hair, I suggest that you use glass hair or that you use um, sorbet mixed with some satin extra. Can you share uh, to people such as friends? Absolutely. We just ask that you share only um, 10 times per person. Okay, so here we go. So one thing I will say is I should have done this video, but I have some place to go, so I didn't want to look crazy. I uh, had forgotten my uh, volume the other day, and I was somewhere else, and I had to just blow dry my hair. And I forgot how frizzy and wacky it made my hair look. Um, and that's the reason why I literally never wore my hair down before, because the top would get really greasy, and the bottom looked really dry and frizzy. And... If you guys watch my pearl shows at night or you follow me on Instagram, if you look six months ago, six months ago I maybe once a month wore my hair straight. Now I wear my hair straight almost every day. And the whole change has been this because it leaves my hair like, it leaves my hair just looking really nice and my hair looks nice for like until I wash it again, which is really crazy. Um, I do need to obviously use dry shampoo and do all that stuff. But the ends, it's easier now to use my hair and do my hair straight before I always had to curl my hair in order for it to look decent at all. So, all right, next section. Now, if I am not talking to you guys answering questions, I can do my whole head in about seven minutes. So if that, um, somebody who has thick, thick hair, Basically, whatever your normal blowout time is, probably take that in half. It definitely cuts your blow dry time like in half. I do have videos on my page if you look back um, of my niece who has really naturally curly hair, and she demos this to show you how it works. Okay, so once again, I'm just going up and over. All right, so don't forget if you get 200 shares. What? 113. 113? All right. So we're 113 shares if we can get another up to that 200 share mark in the next four or five minutes. We'll go ahead and give one of these away. Trying to find something that doesn't make my coarse colored treatment hair look frizzy. Um, you need the glass hair. I think it might be out of stock right now. But go ahead, follow this link, and then put it in your add it to the notify me when it comes back in stock. That way you can be the first to grab it. But the glass hair, you use it as a thermal primer. Also, the sorbet. The sorbet max matched with the satin nectar is amazing. You will love those. Or hair lotion is really good too. Or dream cream. There's so many good products. So dream cream. Dream cream with a little bit of glass hair is going to be like a game changer. Feel free to take your time, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm just going down. Like I said, if I wanted my ends really curled, you can sit here and curl them like this. I'm just not necessarily looking for like really curly ends. Okay. Share twice. Thank you. You can share up to 10 times. I just ask that you don't share more than 10 times per person. You need to start making a wish list for everything. Right now, like I said, you can get, if you follow this link, you'll see um, hair care is 50% off. 
You only can use one coupon code per order, so keep that in mind. If you want this, you can use code IDEAL, I-D-E-A-L, IDEAL, and get $10 off plus free shipping, which makes it ideal to like send as a gift to someone because you're getting the free shipping and $10 off. I do feel like it works better if you work with um, thinner sections because you just don't have to go over them as much. As I say that and grab this whole giant section of hair. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. I'm just going to do this last section. Thank you, Dana. You're very sweet. And I always appreciate your share, so it's fun. Okay, so just kind of take your hand and feel where you might get some moisture, and then just kind of work on those sections. All right. Easy as that. We are done. Don't I look beautiful? Thanks for watching! <laughs> okay, so... I then like to just kind of take my hair. Now, as a girl who has very fine, thin hair, um, sometimes I'll do a little bit of back combing. I don't do that near as much as I used to because I feel like I'm finally embracing my hair as it is. Before, if my hair was like this, I felt like it looked... Because anytime my hair was thin, I mean down, to me I was always terrified it was going to look greasy. And it didn't look greasy, I was just worried it was going to look greasy, so I always wanted to kind of add some poof. Um, and I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just loving it the way it is. So, um, but if you do need to do that, you can always add some dry shampoo that kind of gives you some volume. I'm actually falling in love with dry shampoo, um, especially their style revival. It works so well. Um, it is amazing to me, their, their style revival, how I can spritz it in. It goes in white, which terrified me at first. And then I can just really rub it in, act like you're shampooing your head, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, and then just brush through it. And it's almost like it doubles the volume of my hair. And it has definitely allowed me to be able to use this as a tool and easily get three, four days out of one wash. It's amazing. So, okay, uh, Matt, how many shares did we get? He just told me 113 then walked away. I think he gave up on y'all. Let's see how you did. What? 136. All right. We didn't quite get there, but, um, I hope that you guys found this information helpful. Um, and on any of those items that do happen to be out of stock, I highly suggest that you follow the link and then add those items to your notify me when they're back in stock, because if those are things you want for your holidays or just for your own personal use, um, that's going to be the easiest way for you to find those in stock. So thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.